Christmas bells ring, ring Swing in my shopping bag, sing in Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today for a change I've got a full face of makeup on before I use the products and that's because when I first did the introduction I forgot to mention about the giveaway that I've got in this video. So at some stage throughout this video I will be speaking about the product that I am giving away and the few rules that are required to enter. So if you're interested in seeing how this Hourglass palette performs and what I'm giving away in today's video, then just keep watching. Yeah. And today I'm going to be playing with one of the Hourglass, they were the holiday releases. This is the Hourglass, it's the Ambient Lighting Edit, the Universe one. I also bought the Unlocked one as well, that is the one with the darker shades in it, but today I thought I would try this out. I bought these quite a while ago when they were newly released, but I just haven't had a chance to play with them yet. I have used Hourglass bronzers before and their finishing powders and I also have two or three of their blushes and I really love the formula. I think they're great for well, all skin types but especially mature skin. I think they just give a really beautiful finish and they often have a bit of a blurring effect on the skin as well. So here is the packaging, you've probably seen this before on other videos and in this palette you've got a finishing powder, the strobe blush, a bronzer, another blush and a strobe powder for a highlight. These are made in Italy and they have a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening. Hourglass is also a cruelty free brand and they don't test their products on animals. So the outside of the packaging is really interesting. The tin is just like the eyeshadows were. Some people don't like this packaging. I think it is really, really nice. And the other holiday releases they've had is with the shinier packaging, but really you just end up with fingerprints all over it. With this you don't because it has that matte finish and I just really like it. And it also has quite a bit of weight to it and it doesn't feel tinny, even though that is what it's made out of. Probably the only fault that I have with the palette is that once you open it, it has to be opened right out. You can't leave it at an angle and it stays open. But if they fix in future products that part of the packaging, then I think it'll nearly be perfect. So inside it has a generous size mirror and you've seen the beautiful, it's like a marble type finish on the front. And the design on the front is supposed to represent the unique swirled texture that the Hourglass products have. Their blushes and their highlighters and their bronzers and their finishing powders. So I'll show you inside this palette. It is really beautiful. I haven't tried this yet. So today will be my first go at it. I think that these shades look really, really beautiful, but I picked up the dark one as well because I really like the shades of those blushes too. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the bronzer. I have foundation on. I do have a setting powder on and under my eyes as well. And of course I've got my eyeshadow on, mascara, eyeliner, and also my eyebrows are done as well. So I'm going to take the Tom Ford bronzing brush and go into the bronzer. And from what I understand, the two blushes, the strobe light and the bronzer are all new shades. So I'll take, actually what I'll do first is I will swatch the bronzer. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand, but I don't know whether it'll show because my hands have gone a little bit tanner now that it's summer. I'll just see if you can see that. So I have got, you can see it, I can see it on the monitor beside me here. So my hands are fairly tan at the moment and you can still see that bronzer. So I have bought an hourglass bronzer before and I 
thought it was just a little bit too shimmery but this one doesn't seem so bad I can't remember what the color is of the one that I've got but there definitely is a shimmer to it one thing about the hourglass products I do find that they blend really really beautifully they're very easy to blend so I'm just putting a small amount on my brush I just don't want to overdo it I think it's because of the other bronzer that I had from hourglass uh, I think it was quite a bit darker than this one and um, often <laughs> I overdid it but with this shade you don't seem to seem to be able to pick up quite a bit of product on the brush so I think that the bronzer looks really really lovely I love the shade I love the way that this blended out and it doesn't seem to emphasize the texture that I have on my skin and I think it looks really really beautiful so now I'm going to try out the blushes I'm going to try out both of them but first I'll swatch them on my hand so these are the two blushes this one is actually called a strobe blush and that one's just called just blush this one is called vibrant heat and this is the shade luminous rose so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them both on. I'm going to put Luminous Rose on. That's the deeper shade. I'm going to put that on first. And then over the top, I'm going to put the other blush, which is called Vibrant Heat. So I'm going to use the BK Beauty. It's the 104 brush. And go into Luminous Rose. It tends to be quite a bit of pickup. So I'll just see how this looks. I think it's going to be lovely with the other colour over the top. Well, that shade by itself is really, really beautiful. It has a bit of a sheen to it, but it is very, very subtle. The other one's going to have a lot more, and that's why it's called a strobe blush. But this one just by itself would be perfect. But I am going to put the other one over top now. Now, I'm only going to pick up a little bit at a time and see how it looks and this is the one vibrant heat so i'm just going to pop that over the top and that definitely has you can see why it is a strobe i just put this here away you can see why it's called a strobe blush because it definitely has much more of a sheen a shimmer to it well, both together, the blushes look stunning as well, and I'm sure each one on their own would look really, really beautiful. But if you want a little bit more sheen, then the strobe blush is the way to go. It does sort of lift the cheek, or the, the cheekbones a bit, and I think it looks really, really beautiful. Hourglass does have a really lovely formula. I don't find that it emphasizes the texture that I have. I mean, everyone's got texture on their skin and as you get older, there seems to be more and more that appears. But when I say it doesn't emphasize texture, it's not like it gets rid of your texture or anything like that. It just doesn't emphasize it. And sometimes when you have powders that have shimmers and sheens in them, things can start to go a bit wrong and it really can emphasize the texture that you have and if you don't want that to happen you sort of need to know which powders are more kinder to mature skin or skin that may have quite a bit of texture on it so next i'm going to try out the highlighter but before i do that i'm going to let you know now what product i'm giving away in today's video and the product that i'm giving away is the palette that I'm using today. I bought a spare one and put it aside for a future giveaway and today's that day. So if you like the look of this palette and you probably won't know till I've finished it, put on the highlighter and the finishing powder, then you will have a chance to win it. So I'm not gonna go on about the rules in this video. I'm going, there aren't many, and I'm going to put them in the description box below. The two main things is that you comment below that you would like to enter this giveaway, 
and the other thing is is that you subscribe to my channel there are a couple of other things it's not a lot of rules but as I said make sure you read the description box below so now let's have a look at the highlighter this is called the strobe powder supernatural strobe light and I will swatch this on the back of my hand as well this is described as a champagne color and it does look really, really beautiful. But I am going to take it easy with this. So I'm going to grab the Rafa 20, the fan brush. And use this first. I think this, yeah, it does. So this gives enough payoff for me. When I use a highlighter, I like it to sort of subtly highlight my cheeks. A lot of people like it though to have more of a blingy look. And that's fine. But with the soft fluffy fan brush that certainly is enough payoff for me anyway but it is really really beautiful and i hardly put the brush in the palette and that is the payoff that you get so it is really really lovely and then like i normally do once i've put a highlighter on i grab the sonogy it's the smooth buffer and i just go over it just to soften it a little bit and then finally, I'm going to use the finishing powder. I'm going to use the Sonia G. This is the Face One brush. And this is what I use for finishing powders. This is a great brush for just buffing the product in. The other finishing powder that I have by Hourglass is the one in Dim Light. And that gives a really beautiful finish too. And that finishing powder is just really, really lovely. It's just as good, just as lovely as the other one that I mentioned, the one in dim light. Leaves your skin feeling silky smooth and it does have a slight blurring effect. It really is a gorgeous finishing powder. So now I'm just going to pop on some lipstick and then I'll be back. So here is the finished look and I really love this palette. It is really, really beautiful. I love the bronzer. I don't think it gives too much sheen. It doesn't seem to emphasize texture. The two shades of the blushes are gorgeous. I love what's it called the Luminous Rose. That was the first one I put on. I just thought that was stunning. But if you want a bit of lift on your cheeks, then you can definitely, we can use them by themselves, each one, but layered together, they look really, really beautiful as well. And the highlighter, you get a lot of payoff. I used a fluffy brush, as you saw, and you could either use your finger or a more dense brush to get even more payoff if you wanted to. And the finishing powder is beautiful. It's just as gorgeous as the other hourglass one I have in dim light and overall I just think it's a really soft diffused just a really pretty look and don't forget to comment below and read the description box for the rules of the giveaway if you want a chance to win this really beautiful palette so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye. Ring, ring the Christmas bells. Ring, ring.